Hi there. When we're looking at how a business finances itself, we may come across a term called capital structure. So let's spend a couple of minutes explaining what capital structure is all about. Well, in essence, it comes down to the mix of different types of finance a business uses. And the mix is determined by the difference between debt and equity, because there are different sources of finance which are debt and different sources of finance which are equity. So the capital structure of a business simply means the ways, the different parts of the capital structure that are firstly debt, how much of it is debt, and then how much of it is equity. So we know, or hopefully we know, that the kinds of finance sources of finance which are debt in the long term include bank loans and other kinds of long-term debt debentures. Bank loans are the main one. On the equity side of things, there's essentially two parts to it. One is the share capital that is invested in the business by the owners, by the shareholders, but also the profits that they decide to keep in the business, the retained profits. So rather than paying out profits to themselves via dividends, they keep the money, they keep the profits in the business, and that is a source of finance of the business, and it's determined and called equity. So there we go. Capital structure is just the, the, the proportions of finance which are debt compared with equity. On the screen there, it might be worth pausing it for just a, 10 seconds or so. I've just illustrated how this is the case, how a business, both of which has, in this case, a million pounds worth of capital or finance, how it can have different types of finance. So business A has £800,000 of the million in terms of equity, 500000 of share capital, 300,000 of retained profits, equity, A plus B, 800,000. Four times as much of the debt, which is just 200,000. Compare and contrast with business B, which also has a million pounds worth of capital or finance, but in this case, it's got a lot more debt. As you can see from business B, it has half a million of bank loan and 100,000 of a, another loan. So 600,000 of the million is debt. So business B has a higher debt equity ratio. Business A has more equity than debt. That's all it means. And there's no right or wrong structure. And of course, a lot of uh, businesses may be reluctant to hold lar large amounts of debt, but it doesn't have to be the case. For example, as we are at the minute, certainly here in the UK, interest rates are very low. Debt is relatively cheap to obtain. And if your profits and cash flows are strong, debt is a very effective form of finance for a business. On the other hand, a business may decide that they don't want the risk of uh, the, the debt entails, having to pay interest, having to pay the debt back. They would rather have equity, share capital and retain profits, which are generally, generally seen as being a better source of finance for high risk businesses. And of course, you've always got the option of not having to pay out to shareholders if you want to retain profits in the business. Well, you can look at debt and equity uh, with the video on gearing, which explores these issues or these issues in more detail. Hopefully that's useful. That's just an introduction, a very quick overview to this idea of capital structure.